Good morning and welcome to Timeline Broadcast. I'm Josh. And I'm Ashley. The MBU Theater production of The Secret Garden closed Sunday afternoon after a successful run. Audiences enjoyed the familiar story and beautiful music provided by MBU students and members of the community. The next production will be It's a Wonderful Life, a live radio play. You can catch the Christmas fun December 1st through the 4th in the Performance Hall. It's Mission Emphasis Week on campus. Tables have been set up in the field building with information about upcoming mission trips. The nearest trip is to Atlanta, Georgia during spring break in March. This summer there will be trips to Los Chilitos, Guatemala and Rome, Italy. A summer internship in Seville, Spain is also being offered. For information, stop by the tables or the AMP office. It's concert season here at MBU. This Friday evening, the chorale, chamber singers, and MBU strings will be held in concert in the chapel. The event begins at 7.30. On Tuesday night, the concerts continue with the MBU ringers and concert band taking the chapel stage at 7.30. Admission to both concerts is free, so add them to your calendar. A full week of homecoming activity starts on Monday and goes through the week to the big football game on Saturday, October 22nd. Here is Madison Click with the Student Activities Homecoming Calendar of Events. Hi, I'm Madison Click and I'm with Student Activities and Homecoming is next week. Student Activities has a lot of fun events planned, starting with food days. Look for a white pop-up tent at different places around campus. Monday will be cupcakes, Tuesday will be milk and cookies, Wednesday will be nachos, Thursday will be Wetzel's Pretzels, and Friday will be hot dogs. Mr. Spartan is Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. in the chapel. Contestants are from organizations and sports teams on campus. Be a part of the audience and vote for People's Choice and Miss MBU. Winners will receive a $200 cash prize. Friday night, the Perk the Event will be happening in Muncie Gym starting at 8 p.m. until midnight. Finally, starting 11.30 a.m. on Saturday is Free Pappy's Barbecue. Following that is music, raffles, a cornhole tournament, and much more during the Rally Alley. The football game will be starting at 2 o'clock. The Perk the Event is an MBU homecoming tradition that is celebrating its 20th year next week. The Perk began as a residence life event and soon became a campus-wide celebration. This year, Perk 20 will feature local artist Kenny DeShields and three opening acts. Coffee, desserts, and great live music will be featured in the Muncie Gym from 8 to 10 p.m. on Friday, October 21st. Here's sports with Brittany. Hey Spartans! MBU football made history with their win on Saturday. The Spartans beat Lindenwood Belleville to make it a record-breaking two wins in a row. Eddie Calderon had the biggest play of the game. With just seconds left on the clock, Calderon intercepted in the end zone, stopping a Lynx drive and forcing the game into overtime. A Gunner Griffin to Sean Calhoun pass on a broken play gave the Spartans their first overtime score. Thanks to great defensive work by Keenan Savage and Dominic Aguire, that touchdown held up the Spartans and brought home a 14-7 overtime win. The team will travel to Olivet Nazarene in Borbanis, Illinois on Saturday. Kickoff is scheduled for 1 p.m. Good luck, Spartans! Women's Volleyball opened the Spartan Invitational by beating Masters University for win number 20 of the season. Tina Madonovic, the nation's leader in hitting percentage, freshman Kate Sigarini, and seniors Mallory Dillon and Natalie Germod proved to be a strong team. But the Lady Spartans struggled on day two against teams from Grandview University and Lindsey Wilson College, finishing the tournament 1-2. Their next opponent is the Benedictine College Ravens. The match begins tomorrow night at 6 p.m. in Lacey Gym. Cross Country had a successful run at the Principia Cowbell Challenge. For the women, Rebecca Starrett finished in the top 20. Starrett's hard work earned her the Raising Canes Athlete of the Month Award. Freshman Gina Fritz and Ansley Little finished just outside the top 20 at Principia. Men's Cross Country continued improving as well. Freshmen Brian Jordan, Zach Ogg, and Daniel Evans cut seconds off their personal records. Both teams will continue making strides at the Still Caught Fall Classic on October 22nd. Good luck, Spartans! Women's soccer took on 18th-ranked Park University on Tuesday. This contest was picked up as the AMC Game of the Week. The Spartans gave it their all but ended up giving the W to the Pirates. The ladies will travel to Freed Hardman in Henderson, Tennessee on Saturday. Game time is scheduled for 5 p.m. Men's soccer recorded their third win in a row on Saturday against Williams Baptist. 
They will also travel to Henderson, Tennessee to take on Freed Hardman. With the men's soccer season going well, I had the opportunity to sit down with men's head coach Jacob Alvernia to talk about upcoming games. I am here with head men's soccer coach Jacob Alvernia. Tell us, how has your season been going so far? Uh, we're starting to pick up the wins. We're down to the, to the meat part of the stretch of our season. Are there any certain teams that are especially we need to watch? Yeah, we travel to Freed Hardman on the 15th. Uh, and then we have, um, which will be a tough game on the road, and then we return home against Hannibal on Tuesday. It'll be a very big game. Uh, hopefully we'll get a lot of fans out for that. Um, they're always a rival of ours, obviously. And, uh, and then the, the weekend, uh, the 22nd, we travel to Lyon, and that's going to be a very tough game. So we've got three tough games coming up. How have you seen this team in comparison to the teams in the past as working as a unit? This year we're the deepest we've ever been. And so... Um, it's both a problem because you have to keep a bunch of guys happy, but it's also um, a very nice asset to have guys coming off the bench that would have started for us in years past. So the team's very strong because we're, we have a lot of depth and quality in our depth this year. For Timeline Sports, I'm Brittany. Stay Spartan strong. Thanks, Brittany. For Timeline Broadcast, I'm Josh. And I'm Ashley. Shine on, Spartans.